Hey guys, it's Gina. My little one Declan here is still asleep. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I did um, to stay in shape and just take care of my body before I had my baby. Um, I started eating healthier probably, gosh, as soon as I went off birth control. Uh, we had our little guy seven, we found out about him seven months after going off birth control. So about six, seven months before. Pretty much, like I said, as soon as we went off, I decided to make that change. Um, when I say make those changes, I maintained eating what I normally ate, which was uh, about 1,300 calories a day and then more on the weekends. Uh, but what I do is I exercise um, five to seven times a week if I can. If I need a break, I don't do that seventh time. I can tell based on just how I feel. Um, but five is, should be a minimum. And that doesn't have to be a big, long workout. That can be 30 minutes. But what I did normally was 30 minutes to an hour, five times a week at least. Um, and then your workout calories come out, so you can eat a little more on Saturday. Um, normally, I get to eat, like, Mexican or margaritas or anything I want on Saturday. But I do not have margaritas for the most part. Um, so, like I said, eating healthy for me was watching my calories, and not only calories, but things that went into my body. Um, I logged everything in my fitness pal. Uh, things that go into my body, added a lot of greens, trying to get that folic acid and build it up in my system. I did take a primrose supplement because I was hoping for a little boy. Don't know if it works, but I have a little boy, so maybe. Um, I definitely took prenatals. I took them for probably a year before. And like uh, maybe six months before you go off birth control, start taking those prenatals. They're not going to hurt you. Uh, so just keep up with your supplements, vitamin C. I did vitamin B. Talk to your pediatricians or talk to your doctors, your physicians, not your pediatricians. That's his little guy. But talk to your physicians and figure out what they recommend is best for you when it comes to A, calories, B, supplements, uh, adding changes in your diet. Talk to them or maybe even see a dietitian or a nutritionist. Those are always helpful. But for me, 1,300 calories averaged out once my workouts were taken out. Um, so that's the big one. And then watching what goes into your body. Like um, before I was pregnant, I did a lot of protein shakes and protein bars. And it tried to really hit the food, all the food categories. So I felt like when I went to put those in, I wasn't really sure where I was putting them. Like what's a protein bar? It's not green. It's not pro it's protein. But... It's not meat or something like that. So I subbed out a lot. Um, I did a lot of eggs and egg beaters and salads. And I hate salads, but I did them. Um, I can like, pick one salad you love and just try to get in maybe like three to five of them a week if you can. Um, for me, that's Caesar. Um, as you're doing this too, think of things that could hurt a baby. Um, be mindful of a pregnancy diet because you never know when you're pregnant right away. Um, you could be pregnant for a month or two and not realize it. So I tried to um, also cut out alcohol. And I'm not going to say I didn't have a drink every once in a while while I didn't think I was pregnant. But for the most part, I had less alcohol. I cut out soda. I had maybe one glass a week. And I upped my water intake to 80 to 126 um, ounces a day of water, which I found to be very helpful. I felt so much better too. So drink your water, watch your calories, watch what you're eating, and exercise. Those are the big things I did. Um, people ask what kind of exercise. I think everyone needs to find something they love. If you're a runner, run. I can't run to save myself, so I definitely don't focus on running. <laughs> don't try to become a runner if you're not. Um, maybe that save that for later. That's a good post-pregnancy, postpartum, way after your healed goal. But with for this, you're looking at increasing the frequency of your workouts to so try to pick something you love. Um, this could be weights or maybe um, swimming. If you live in the right area, to swim often or if you're by a pool. Biking. Um, I personally love Zumba. Uh, I do not go to a Zumba class. That is um, not realistic for me to go do Zumba out of my house five to seven days a week. It's just not a realistic goal to find time. Classes with work. I worked so full time for a while while I was trying to get pregnant. Um, so I suggest to um, just find something you love. For me, my Zumba was on YouTube. I would be happy to post uh, links to my playlist. I love Live Love Party Group. They're amazing. Uh, I've been dancing 
to their stuff for, gosh, I want to say like five years or so. I love them. Um, they're just fun and really easy to follow. They're great choreographers, and they just bring a lot of just excitement and joy in what they do. You can tell they're passionate, and I love that. Um, I just really enjoy it. I almost feel like I know them, to be honest. I've never met them, of course, and don't know them. They're from the Philippines, but I just love them and adore them. Um, I will recommend them to everyone. Like I said, check with your physician to find out what's the best workout plan for you as well, um, especially once you get oh. pregnant. But I did continue this throughout my pregnancy. I will, I guess we can go ahead and add that to this video too. So that was my pre-pregnancy, what I did. And then when I got pregnant, really important to continue your workouts, especially when it seems hard. Um, you already know your body can do it. Big thing I did was watch my heart rate. Um, I have a Fitbit. I don't know if you have any way to monitor your heart rate, but if you can, I try to always keep it under 140. I think that's really important. Um, during your pregnancy. Your heart rate's elevated already, so that does sound high, but as soon as you have a little one, your heart rate's pretty elevated. Um, so keep it under 140 during those first and second trimesters. Um, third trimester, I tried to keep under 125, just because I knew that a lot of my energy was going to him, and I really needed to make sure I wasn't doing anything too high impact, so that's a good way to judge your impact. Gosh, me child. <laughs> He's all over this place. Um, but so those are my exercise watch out things for. If you feel like you're burning out, stop your videos, stop your exercise, get more water, take a break. You can split your workouts into um, two 30-minute workouts instead of one-hour workout if that's your goal. Or just do one 30-minute and see you can build up to it. See what works best for you. Um, but do try to do 30 minutes every day if you can or 30 minutes five days a week if you can. So that is... Um, exercise goals, continue them throughout the pregnancy. Um, I was still exercising five to seven times a day, five to seven times a week throughout my entire pregnancy. Uh, literally, I did Zumba the day the day I had him. Um, didn't know he was coming that day, of course, but I did do Zumba that afternoon. Um, I just think it's really helpful and gives you, whether you're having a vaginal birth or C-section, gives you stamina to have the labor, to go through labor and just helps build your tone like you can see like I didn't have this in my arms before all of this um, which is helpful because baby gosh I hold him all day long and you need to have strong arms to hold your baby um, so first and second trimester all I did fitness wise was um, Zumba strictly Zumba I did not lift weights I did not run I did Zumba and then I walked and definitely walked whenever um, even if I did an hour I always did an hour of Zumba every for every workout but if I wanted to go downstairs if I'd already done my Zumba for the day um, I'd go downstairs and walk on the treadmill while my husband did his workout or I'd take um, my dogs for a walk at the time <laughs> he was kind of with me but not really he was in my belly um, I couldn't push his shoulder or anything or hold him but no walk is always great you can pretty much walk as much as you want and just don't hurt your legs stretch um, always remember to stretch those are your big exercise, uh, first and second trimester. Third trimester, I added in a body weight workout. I believe it was Fitness by Amy. I will add that link as well. She's awesome. I did this for the majority of uh, one day a week. It's really hard for me, at least. Um, I did the five to six days of Zumba, and then one 30, it was only 30 minutes of this uh, body weight workout for third trimester. I did just one, um, one of those a week. And really hard squats, lunges, um, if you're good at those things, it may be super easy for you. So you may love that day. I despise Tuesday. Helpful, by all means helpful, but hard for me, really hard for me. Um, what I like about her is, is you didn't need any equipment, as opposed to some of the other things I'd found. Um, it's really helpful. Like I said, I'll post that video. I did not do it um, after I found out I'd scheduled a C-section, because doing squats and things like that can definitely flip your baby and at the point I had already accepted the fact that I wasn't going to have the birth I wanted, the all natural vaginal birth. Um, so I decided to just, I'd already accepted surgery and I didn't want to do anything that would possibly change his positions or could make, um, they told me if he flipped, the cord could wrap. So I just didn't want to do anything that he would change possibly what he was doing at that point. So I stopped doing that workout. I think the last month and a half, maybe month, but continue Zumba. 
definitely continue to. But so do that during your pregnancy and before your pregnancy. I think that will make a huge difference. Uh, you may notice results after a couple months even. It's pretty cool. Even like um, while I was pregnant, like I noticed my legs were becoming more toned. My arms were becoming more toned, which is cool because I didn't see um, stretch marks and I didn't see just, I was literally just belly. And I noticed that my body was improving, but I was still gaining the weight I needed. I monitored my weight uh, with my doctors and my OB. I wanted to make sure that I was still getting everything I needed for him and that fitness wasn't affecting my pregnancy or affecting his growth. We did all the growth ultrasounds. He was doing great, so there's no reason for me to stop doing what I was doing. Um, now for my calories, I told you I counted them before, and then I was doing about 1,300 pre-pregnancy. Um, then for the first trimester, I upped my calories right away so that little guy could grow to 1,600. Uh, stuck with that throughout the whole first trimester. Second trimester, 1,900. Stuck with that the whole second trimester. Third trimester, I upped it to 2,200. Um, and my, my OB did recommend that I do, through second and third trimester, 2,300. Now, since I came from 1,300 calories initially, I felt like this was a lot and... It was kind of unnecessary for me. Um, I did kind of just take that recommendation and say, oh, I'm going to try it my way, and I monitor my weight gain. Um, there's a lot of really good apps. I'll post a couple where you can look at your weight gain and make sure that you're on target for your pre-pregnancy weight and where you are now and what you should be gaining. I gained 40 pounds. Um, so I feel like I definitely was eating enough and giving him what I needed. He was growing and I was still right smack dab in the middle. I wasn't under or above at all what I should be gaining for weight. So I'll post some of those sites where you can use a calculator. I use mine every week just to make sure, hey, did I gain what I need to gain this week? I was gaining half a pound when I needed to gain it, a whole pound, and sometimes even two pounds a week. Um, and still eating those calorie, following those calorie guidelines and my workout guidelines. So I think you can definitely gain there. Um, and be healthy and to give your body what it needs. You're not trying to lose weight, but you're starting to, trying to make your body more fit and just really build your muscle and build your strength and your breath support, the things that you need for labor. Um, I mentioned I had a C-section, but I did eat very badly the night uh, that I, my water broke, surprisingly, and um, wasn't able to have the C-section for 10 hours after about which after my dinner, 10 hours after my dinner. So I was about six centimeters dilated when we actually started surgery and having fun, fun contractions. Um, but because of that strong breath support, I was able to get through it and really just control my breath and have the stamina I needed to do that. Um, I think it's been really helpful and great. There's one other thing I did um, just for my body while I was pregnant is lotion. I use the uh, Burt's Bee Belly Lotion for my belly and just um, what you call it, my thighs and my bottom and my back and my boobs. I kept like basically this whole area was that belly, but root to be belly butter. I will post a link to that. I love it. It's great. Doesn't have any sort of weird smell. It's not greasy. So I really enjoyed using that. And I have no stretch marks. So I between workout and that lotion, I started using that lotion. Gosh, the day I found out I was pregnant, it seems like I bought it early because I knew I was trying to get pregnant. And then the day I found out, I started using that lotion right away. I also took my belly ring out right away. Um, so I started using that lotion and took out my navel piercing. And then for the rest of your body, I use uh, Lubriderm. Arms, up here, back, legs, everywhere, every day maybe twice a day, uh, in the morning and night, depending on what month it was. If it was winter months, I definitely did use all those twice a day. Um, otherwise, I just used it after my shower. But I think that that saves me um, dry skin, stretching. It really helps just to keep your skin moisturized. Um, I think that's very critical. And then during the beginning of the, I guess, second trimester, once my belly started to show, I used uh, this little belly band here. Ooh, I don't like Velcro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I use this belly band here. It's just a very simple pelvic belt, and you can see right here. I will show you in another video how to use this. I have three different binders, but this one I loved during second and third trimester. Just to give you a little more support there, um, 
anytime, especially when you're transitioning between um, clothing sizes. Um, I did not buy a ton of maternity clothes. I used jeggings at Walmart, and they were three to ten dollars per set of jeggings. As I went up in size, I just bought a size. Or a couple of times since I thought they were going to run out, I bought the sizes up and just didn't take the tags off of them and could return whatever I didn't use. Um, and then I bought their two packs of maternity shirts. Like they have them on their website. Uh, I can post those too. I bought two pack of a uh, quarter sleeve and short sleeve and tank top. I think I only bought maybe, maybe eight pregnancy shirts, if that. So that's it. And a couple, uh, just, I use my, my winter or my summer beach cover-up dresses and use those as t-shirts because I'm kind of cheap and thrifty and I really didn't want to spend money on clothes I only needed for a couple months. So that's what I did for clothes. They were perfect. And like I said, use that band. Drink your water, exercise, monitor your calories, monitor what you eat, use a belly band and lotion. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know. That's what I did, and it worked great for me. Uh, my pre-pregnancy weight was 118 pounds. I gained 40 pounds, and I'm now only 9 pounds away from my goal. I'm three weeks postpartum, so I hope that I can help you. Um, if you have more questions for me specific, please feel free to write in the comments. I'm happy to help. <laughs> Bye, guys.